when you look at the spectrum that exists within the Conservative Party of Canada, we often hear the line, the big blue tent, and you've got your libertarians, your social conservatives, your rural conservatives, your uh, any form of conservative or centrist uh, really can be under that, and, and the party takes great pride in that. Where do you see yourself personally in that? Because a lot of people outside of Ontario might not be familiar with you. Where do you place yourself in that big blue tent? Andrew, I, I think the, the description democratic conservative fits that most because that description would encompass all the other spectrums and welcome all other spectrums that you speak of. Folks generally know that on economic issues and, and on um, foreign affairs matters, I, I come from what you would refer to as the blue side of the party. On social issues, however, uh, I've always been on record that I don't believe that government has a role in, in telling people how to start their family or how to grow their family. I'm also pro-medical choice. That's why, uh, even though I'm voluntarily vaccinated, I, I have opposed vaccine passports, vaccine mandates. I brought, a, I brought legislation um, to, to the provincial parliament to outlaw mandates, which the conservative, which the Doug Ford Progressive Conservative Party voted down on second reading. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm in favor of people making their own medical decisions. Uh, so you, those those can coexist. At the same time, I would welcome social conservatives by respecting their democratic rights to to run and contest nominations, to introduce legislation. Who am I, even as a leader of a party, to or or as as the leader of the party in the house, to to tell a member of parliament that their sacred right to introduce legislation is usurped? No way. Uh, libertarian conservatives. I've always been in favor of choice. It, it works both ways. And all, all of that goes back, Andrew, to democracy, to respecting our choices and respecting our views.